Hey quarantine babes! So welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Gary. Obviously before we carry on with the video, if you wanna hit that like button, obviously that subscribe button, and click that bell just so you're notified when I upload a brand new video. So today's video is super exciting. This is a video I've wanted to do for so long. You guys know, I'm so obsessed with the Vogue tutorials, the whole madness. I've watched every single one from Kylie Jenner to Khloe Kardashian to Kim Kardashian. And I, oop. It just brings me to do this one, which is Doja Cats. If you guys don't know who Doja Cat is, Doja Cat is a rapper. People think she's quite new, but Doja Cat has been around for a long, long time. Obviously, her hit song, Say So, has just made her go whoop, whoop. So I thought I would redo her Vogue tutorial. If you guys haven't seen her book tutorial, it is mad. Like, pure madness. She does a whole e-girl style, which I didn't know what an e-girl was. Do you know what an e-girl is? Because I don't. So I had to go on live and be like, what's an e-girl? Because I did say on my live I was going to do this. And everyone said e-girl is an edgy girl. Apparently, it's like edgy, a girl that looks really cool, very Tumblr-esque, very Instagram, but alternative. So I'm going to try and follow her tutorial. I'm going to try and put the um, clips of her, what she's doing, what I'm doing as well. I've got so much stuff here, guys. My skin is going to be so sore after this, but let's get into it because it's going to be a long ass video. Actually, let me get let me get some wine. No. Well. <laughs> Ooh, child, I had to get some wine and some snacks because this video, looking at all this skincare that she uses, girl. So make sure you have some wine or a soft drink and some snacks. So if you want to see how I transform into Doja Cat's e-girl, keep on watching. Okay guys, let's begin. I'm gonna be watching it on my phone, so let's start this tutorial. Hey Vogue, it's Doja Cat. I'm about to show you a look that I do pretty often. Um, it's like my e-girl, like sickly look. E-girl, yeah, sickly. Like I just woke up and blew my nose and I have pneumonia. So she wants so, to look like she's got pneumonia. I'm gonna start with skincare. I do a face wash and I use Okay, so she's doing a face wash. Okay, so I'm gonna call. use I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays amino cleanser. She didn't use this, but I haven't got a touch of one she used. So I'm actually gonna do a few pumps of this. This is quite cute. I'm actually nowhere near my bathroom, so I'm gonna have to run back and you know do a moment. So ooh, this is actually a really nice cleanser by the way. Make sure that face is clean, honey. You know what I mean? Ooh, all cleansed. Let's move on to the next step. I'm doing this uh, exfoliating powder. My hands are a little wet, so it kind of turns it into a paste. Okay, so she uses that exfoliating powder. She's got a tattoo on. I actually had that one, but I finished. So I'm gonna use the Dr. Barber Sturm. This one's for darker skin tones. I've actually never used this, so I'm just gonna put some, oh! I'm just gonna put some, oh! So, okay, I need to wet my hands. I'm gonna like spray it because I've got some water here. Okay, oh my God, I've never used this. Oh, it falls crazy. Okay. Oh. So she just rubbed it in like that. Oh, it feels nice though. This one's really, really nice. Oh God, got that powder off. I'm not gonna lie, my skin actually looks really nice. Okay, let's see what she does next. All right, now you look like the Michelin man. That's a good thing. I do this like twice a day. Twice a day? Guys, she just said that she does exfoliating powders twice a damn day. God, her skin must feel so raw like a chicken fillet. What the hell? After this, I dry my face off and I make sure it's super dry. So I use this peel. I don't use any other peel. Guys, hold on. She did a face wash, <laughs> exfoliating powder, and now my good sis wants to do a peel. What in the skin on Balancing PH is going on? Oh my God, okay, so I don't have a peel. I actually did have one my Dr. Dennis Gross, but I finished it, so I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Wishful. Oh my God, my skin is gonna be so mad after this. Oh my God, I'm so upset. <laughs> okay, this is kind of like a peel. It's like an enzyme peel. Oh, okay. We're gonna put that on. Oh my God, my poor skin. Guys, if I don't make YouTube videos for a good week, it just means that my skin has gone into quarantine also. Okay, 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 okay. My skin feels so raw. It actually feels like a tender chicken, like a chicken fillet. Okay. A chicken breast. Oh my God. Okay, let's see what she does next. So then after I do that, I dry my face 
and then I do witch hazel. Witch hazel! Okay, I'm really allergic to witch hazel, so I can't use that. So I'm just gonna use my La Mer the Mist. Oh, this feels nice. Witch hazel breaks me the fuck out, so I can't use that. Witch hazel on tea tree, it's just not happening, sis. Not even for you, Doja. Like, hello. Kind of prepare it for everything else. It's kind of like a base. I put a base after the base. So this is an essence. I do like a few drops, but it's very watery. And then you just rub that around. Okay, so she just put an essence on. So okay, this is the essence here. This is what it looks like. This one's really, really good, but I'm sure you're supposed to use essences at night, but okay. You just pat it in. Essences basically make your skincare work like 50 times better. But I'm sure you put essences on before the night time. I don't know. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. When you slap your face, you're bringing kind of the, the blood to the surface. So then after that, you do a serum. I do like one of those and then go crazy. Okay, so she, I've got this serum as well. So she used to attach a vitamin C serum, which is really good. And she said, go crazy. But guys, this is 20% vitamin C. Ain't no one going crazy with this. So, okay, I'm going to do two pumps. And she goes, go crazy. So this actually tingles a tiny bit. It's really strong. You can't get it in the UK, but they sell it in Sephora. You know, Tachi's bougie. She's just that girl. Okay, maybe oh, my face is tingling. My face is tingling. My face is tingling. Then after I do my serum, I do my eye cream like that much. Boom. Swirl it. You're supposed to be pretty gentle. Okay, so now she does eye cream. Um, I don't have a touch of eye cream. I didn't even know they did eye cream. So I'm going to use my Glossier Bubble Wrap. Um, I'm always, I always use ice cream all the time. Then what she does was she went like that. Oh my God, I'm so shit at this. And then I go around like that. This is a really nice eye cream. And I use it as a lip balm. After that, my cream, boom, I use my nail. So what, like that much? Put it on my face. Okay, so she used the moisturizer. She used the Tatcha one. Um, I think this is the same one. This is the dewy one. Even though I'm oily, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna do her method as well. I actually like this cream, but it makes me a bit too dewy. She put it on her wrist. I'm not sure what that does, but maybe it does like a little, you know. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> so she puts some on her face. This is touch and moisturizers are really nice, but um, this one's just a tiny bit too. It is very dewy. Like, look at the dew, but it's fine. Don't forget the neck as well. We're not actually down here. Sunscreen. I take it. This one evaporates really nice. Put that on and pat it in. Okay, so she used sunscreen, which is such an important step. Guys, if you want to stop the um, signs of aging, definitely use sunscreen. I'm using this Dr. Barbara Sturm one. I've actually got a new one somewhere, but I actually could not find it. So she pats it in. I use sunscreen every day. I've got nowhere to go, so why am I putting on sunscreen? But it's fine. I know oh, this one's at SPF 50. It's really, really good. She puts a lot of skincare on, do you not think? Where's she going? Like, I want to know where she's going. <laughs> Put an oil on top of your moisturizer. It holds it down all day. I go one, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna make you look sweaty. Sweaty! Okay, so she used a facial oil. I know it has one. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Fasali Rose Gold Oil. I'm not sure what kind of look she's going for, but she actually wants to look really sweaty. This is a new one, actually. The Fasali oils are really good. Oh my God, I can't open this, I can't open this. So she used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, it looks so greasy. Isn't this gonna break up the foundation? Guys, look how greasy I look. Okay, I'm gonna try and blend this in a bit more because this is not, I look like a frying pan. My okay. next favorite thing in the whole world, Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. This works better than anything I've ever tried for my beauty blender and I put it on my beauty blender. Ah, it goes stupid. I roll it around and then I just keep going like this, right? over the sink. I mix it with water. Okay, so she put oil onto her beauty blender and mixed it with water. So I haven't got the best piece oils because I just don't have it. So I'm gonna use this Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Oil. So I'm gonna put some on my beauty blender and then mix it with water. Let's try it, let's try it. Oh, it's making it clean. Oh, it actually did work. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Oh wow, it actually did work. It's making my beauty blender cleaner. I take this concealer brush. I go in to this color corrector. This is by Becca. 
cosmetics. Okay, so she's basically color correcting. Um, did Sif not do a primer? Cause I'm kind of confused. Uh, okay, I don't have the Becca one, but I'm gonna use this lip tinted one. Um, I'm just gonna put some under the eyes. Here, here. There's no need to use this for a brush though because it's not a cream. I'll take a brush to blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna take a brush. This is the hourglass one. Okay, this is a different consistency and blend this out. Oh God, we didn't use a primer. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this makeup, but so far I'm very baffled. I do my foundation next. Foundation? Fenty. Fenty. Two pumps of that. Two pumps. But then I do it across my cheeks and then I just make sure I get it all over. Okay, so she did foundation. Guys, I actually don't have a Fenty foundation. How crazy is that? I'm not sure. Well, I think when I moved, I'm not sure if I left a makeup bag, but I'm gonna use Double Wear because Double Wear and Fenty are basically the same. We're gonna use that beauty sponge. She used two pumps, I used two pumps. And then this one's a tiny bit dark for me, but oh, this one's really dark. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna blend that out. And she took it all along her cheeks and then bored it out. I can't really she only uses two pumps, but she's got really good skin anyway. So, oh my God. But two pumps of double weight is a lot. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm really worried about not putting a primer on. And I'm really worried about the oil in this beauty blender because you know that oil breaks down foundation. So I'm just so worried. <laughs> Kelly's foundation is a tiny bit dark and I look very oily, but we move. So I put concealer. I use Fenty. This gun is Fenty, doesn't she? It. And I just make a little boat under my a eyes. A boat? And then I do a little a little a soul patch, like a villain, like a, like a Disney villain. And then, uh, and then I blend that out. Okay, so she used a Fenty concealer. Was it a lighter shade? Okay, so I'm gonna go over highlight shade. I've got 385. I haven't used this concealer in such a long time. Um, okay, so she did her concealer really weird. So a little boat. Oh my God, this is so scary. Okay, so she did like a little about here, then she did some here, then she did some here. Oh my God, let me breathe. Let me see, let me just double check where she's put it. Yeah, she's put some on her nose as well. This is a definitely a different concealer technique for me. So she basically wants to look like a villain and then she just blends it out. I haven't used this concealer for ages, by the way. I do like this concealer, but for me, it takes a really long time. It's blending out. Okay, okay. We're gonna make this work, we're gonna make this work. The next step, this Laura Mercier powder is I love this. Yay. So I go in with my sponge, so then I put that right on my cheeks, just in the center, because I don't like when this is shiny. Everything else can be shiny. And I make sure that all of this is blended under here, because I do have fine lines. This fluffy eyeshadow brush, like a blending brush, and then I press it. Okay, let's do the baking first. So she used the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is a powder I would not use to set my under eye, but okay. So she put some in her blender and she only put some around her cheeks because she thinks everything else can be shiny. So I'm gonna put some around here. Put in the comments below if you use this powder to like bake. I mean like set your under eye if you're like deeper skin tone because I've never used this to bake, but it actually looks really nice. Ooh, it looks really nice. And then I take this and I brush it, I flick it out like this. I try not to swipe it onto my face or push it down. We want like a very thin layer. Okay, so she takes some of that Laura Mercier and a fluffy brush and she puts some right under the eye so it stops it from creasing. She puts quite a lot actually. I've never done this. I'm really scared because this powder, even though it's translucent, it's white. So we're gonna do that, oh my God. The flashback of it all. Oh my God, this is scaring the hell out of me. Then she leaves it. Then she takes a big brush. I'm gonna take this one from milk and then she just kind of like flicks it off. Are we Doja Cat yet? Say so. so. Oh, it looks nice though. My under eyes look really nice. I take this foundation brush and it's kind of flat like that and I go like this. I just... What the fuck? This isn't... Okay, so she takes a foundation brush um, I'm gonna take this one because it's perfect and she basically just goes like that and blends it out like that, just so we have no creasing. This isn't necessarily baking, it kind of is. It's like a mini bake. Whatever's kind of left over, swirl that around and just put that down. Close this, shake it, love it. I take this and I get a lot on my beauty blender and I just, Okay, so Dolja Cat is doing a madness. So, okay, what, what, whatever left in here, she swirls around 
and then she takes it around here and then what she did was she got her little mercier i'm using a mini one because you know i'm trying to finish these i've got so many of these and then she reverse contoured which i find really strange but anyway let's try this so she went like that oh my god i would never reverse contour with a shade like this maybe i should have used the medium one but we are following her tutorial so it's fine it's fine so she just went like that then she buffs it off oh my god it's starting to look a tiny bit ashy we got ashy in the house i always contour with with bronzer yeah this is like every day for me and i go under my lip and this kind of creates like a shadow and then i go under my chin okay so she's contouring with a fenty bronzer i'm sure use fenty this my fenty one's quite dark okay let's use fenty so she goes in quite heavy with bronzer. I need to be careful because this one is quite red. So she used the Fenty bronzer. She's obviously using a lighter one. I'm using Maka Mummy. I'm literally going like that. She goes into the lip. Fuck, I look burnt, don't I? That's the tea, sis. Okay, so we're going to follow her and do a contour. I take it down into like my nose, but I start from here, create that shadow. What? I blend this out. The fuck. Okay, so she actually took the bronzer into her nose and then in her eyes as well, which I have never done. This just seems too crazy. The brush that she used was quite big as well, but okay, Doja. Okay, <laughs> okay I need some wine for this. I need some wine. Next, I do my blush and I just swirl it around. That's a lot of blush, bitch. Okay. I get a lot on there too, because I like a lot. Tap it off. <gasps> and just work on the oh edges God. and I bring my blush up because I like a high cheekbone. You I all do, bitch. always make sure it's higher than lower because you can go like this and work down here, but that'll bring your face down, make it appear older and longer. But if you work it up, you're kind of creating your own apples. Oh my God. Scrub it on the sides. I get under it on the sides. Bam. And what happens, it fades during the day. It doesn't look as pink. Okay, so she used orgasm. Not gonna lie, I've never used, or oh my God, I'm literally like getting so oily. Like what the hell? So she used orgasm and she put it all along here because e-girl's all about looking sick. It's all about looking unwell. All about looking cold. I've, I've never, never wanted, wanted I've, I've never, never ever, 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 ever had, had those sports, sports but okay. okay. We moved, this is a new one. Um, Nas just literally bought this out. So, okay, let's do this. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So she does it quite high. This blush is actually really nice. Oh, so she brings it quite low to there. And she brings it all over the nose. Oh my fucking God, oh my God. This is not cute, this is not cute. And then I like to get a little bit on my lips. And then I take a little bit onto my eyelids because I watched an episode of this that uh, Tinashe did and she puts it on her eyelids. And I'm like, oh, word. Okay, so she took that blush again. She put some on her lips. This looks crazy. The blush looks so different on her because she's lighter and she puts it on her eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the actual fuck? Oh my God. And then I take my bronzer and I swirl it around. And I focus on my outer area because it just looks better on me. Okay, so she took her bronzer and used it as eyeshadow, which I kind of do sometimes. I used to do that a lot, but I don't really do it anymore. And she just concentrated on the outer V. So I'm taking Maka Mami. Then she kind of concentrated in the crease. So we're gonna do that, but because the blush is in here, it looks super, super mad. So she just makes it a bit darker. Hey, okay. the bronzer looks cute, but the blusher, hell to, oh my God, oh my God. Liquidy blush, and I would take it, the tiniest bit, and I just pat it on my nose. And then right on top, you can also- Is she all right? Put liquid blush on top of powder. Okay, so she's moving a bit fast now. She uses a liquid blush. Um, I don't own many liquid blushes. I look crazy. Okay, let's just carry on. I'm gonna use a dewy blush by Ciate. This is the only liquid blush I have. Oh, this is kind of dark, but okay. She put some on her nose and then she put some on her cheeks as well. It smells like sweets. I'm only gonna put a little bit because 
I get so scared using liquid blush. I look like I've had a fight. I look like I'm about to have a nosebleed. Like this is not a look. I do my brows. I do like a little Spock, like a mini Spock brow. Just a little angly brush. And I start shaping it. I just flick that out. It's kind of like eyeliner to me. Very fine angle brush. I used a cream eyeliner. With this, it just looks more natural. Okay, so this girl did her brows. I'm gonna use Cabral, Cabral, Cabral by Benefit, which is number five. Um, Her brows are quite, I'm trying to look at them. They're kind of like sharp but angular, kind of like how I do my brows, but her brows were a tiny bit darker. So let me just comb the hairs up. She did kind of like a spock. Oh my God, her eyebrows are so different to mine now. And she left the front quite faded, so I'm trying to breathe. God help me. Brows are done. Not sure if they're my most favorite brows, but. I take my powder and I shake it up. And then I put the powder over my brows. And I swear by this because I see girls with their brows and they'll do it and it'll be shiny and light will be reflecting off of their brows. It like deletes their brows. When you mattify them, it just looks more real. You get the color to come out. There is a brow there. Then I take my brush, I go under, over. Okay, so we're gonna do her spec. She loves Laura Mercier powder, doesn't she? I wonder if that was sponsored, no, I'm just joking. But she taps it up again and then she's gonna bake the brows. Okay, so she takes a brush and then puts this over like, what the fuck? What in the invisible brow is going on? Cause apparently she doesn't like shiny brows, but bitch, bitch I've, I've got, got no, no brows. brows. <laughs> I go under, over, and then I just start doing this little- Over, under, and over. Heat. Okay, so she takes a brush, a fan brush, and she kind of, okay, I'm gonna fuck this up, I know I am. She basically, over, under, she kind of fans the product out. I don't feel like this is gonna work on me. Okay, so she's flicking the product out. I think my fan brush is a bit too weak. Okay, I'm getting a bit of it out. Okay, beauty mode. <laughs> the brows, are, oh, the brows actually look a bit, <laughs> The brows look a bit cute, but you know, <laughs> to the left. After I do brows, I do my mascara, which is fire. I always appreciated like Harajuku culture. Okay, so she does mascara. I'm gonna use Benefit Bag Yal Bang because it's one of my faves. I'm not gonna put too much on because I know she puts lashes on. So I'm gonna do like a tiny bit of lashes just to give me a little je ne sais quoi, as they say. But at the moment, my skin feels so greasy. Can we just speak about how Sister Nick used a primer? Because I am kind of baffled. I've got no lashes, by the way, guys. My lashes are saying, where are you? Where are you? They do this um, in Japan. They bring the blush up and they do it over the nose and they kind of put it in the center. Okay, and I always it. kind of wanted that cartoon-esque look. So this is Cover Effects. It's like a cream highlight. I just put a little bit, and honestly, I'm running out, so I just kind of have to scrape it off. And I put it on my nose. Okay, she's using a cream highlighter. Right here, and it dries so fast, so you have to work really fast. I'll probably go over this with a little bit of the powder blush. More blush! <laughs> so she basically used a cream highlighter. She used a Cover Effects one, which I used to be obsessed with. I don't have that, but I have the Iconic London one. This one is super pigmented, and it's very blinding. I haven't used this for ages though, so she put some on her nose, her tip here. This highlight is actually really, really nice, by the way. And then I'm gonna blend, oh, I put too much on. I'm gonna blend that out and then blend the tip as well. And apparently she's gonna use more blush. Have we not got enough blush on sis? Okay, so what she does is she puts on more blush, more damn blush, guys. I'm so baffled on to blend this out which I'm very confused about. Sis, we look blushed. And then she put some more liquid highlighter. Where did I just put the highlight? Okay, and she put some on her cheeks, which I don't mind because I feel like we look overly blushed at the moment. And then she kind of put some on her high points. This highlight though is so blinding, like it's actually so nice, but I'm not sure where this look is gonna go, guys. I would love to do one of those Vogue tutorials, by the way. They look so much fun to do. Doja Cat's one's just super interesting. So I take a cotton pad 
and I put any makeup remover on it. Oh, a little splash splash. Just go over the inside of my lips. I try not to go too much on the outside because I put blush there to sort of blend that out. Okay, so she gets, um, oops, she gets a wipe. I've got these reusable ones because you know, sustainability. She gets some makeup remover and she goes inside the lip and not out because she put blush there. And we're gonna take uh, any like blush that's on the lip. So I've never done this before. So I'm using that same oil just to take off any makeup. I'm still leaving that blush on there because we want to look cold. We want to we want to look freezing. So I take this flat, dense brush and I blend that back in. I highlight my cupid's bow as well. So I just put a little bit and I do my chin as well. I do a little bit there and I really try to blend that because that can look crazy. Okay, so she used a foundation brush to blend that out, which I'm gonna do. And then she takes a more liquid highlight. She does here, which I do sometimes. This highlighter blends in so nicely, by the way. But okay, we're glowing for the gods. Our top lip is saying hiya. You can bring the blush onto the top lip and just work that upward and then maybe a little on the bottom and it can kind of make you look like you had a popsicle or something guys this girl is putting blush now on the top lip again after we've done it and on the bottom lip because it makes you look like you've eaten a popsicle nah doja cat is mad we're doing some blush on here this little brush is really shimmery oh my god and we're doing some here as well oh, it's making my lips look really big though on the bottom lip as well so this is the kind of look that I just eat in like an ice lolly, like a popsicle, as you guys would say. Just like a metallic lipstick, for God's sake. This is the scary part. This is where everybody starts sweating. But I basically take this, make sure it's nice and wet, and then I just kind of... Oh, she's doing liner. I like to create like a triangle, like a wing, like suspend it and then... Bend it and it. connect it! Start bringing it in. That's a big liner. And this just looks best with my eye shape. Okay, so sis does a liner. Um, she uses some kind of pen, so I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery one. Um, let's see how this goes. So she does quite a big one. So the liner's on. This is a big ass liner. Um, they're gonna be equal as they wanna be. So don't tell me anything, period. Let's begin because these wings are just giving me <laughs> south and left, but oh well. I just take my blush and then I take it, I swirl This girl it, is doing more blush. And I work it into my creases. I just take this, work it, work it, work it. It just makes you look cold. Like you're freezing cold. And I don't know what's so sexy about being freezing cold, but I like to look like I'm freezing cold. So she wants to look like she's freezing cold. And guys, I feel like this orgasm blush is looking a bit mad on me. So I'm gonna switch to this Cover FX one because it's a bit more matte. I don't know. I feel like the orgasm on her, she might be using the older one. So she's putting it in her crease, which I'm gonna do. So a bit of orgasm is also mixed in this because orgasm is giving me highlighter vibes, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so she does some under the eye as well. We're gonna do some blush under the eye. I've never put pink blush under the eye. She goes, she wants to look like she's cold and like freezing. Okay, so I have a lash line and it goes by Icy Wifey Cosmetics. It's like a spaced out sort of doll-like lash. I have a smaller eye, so I take this. I could lose like one of those spaces, so I cut that. And that should be okay, and then I measure it. Okay, so she's gonna do lashes, so I'm gonna use my Lash Squad member Sabina's lashes, because they're gonna look bangy with this. Okay, so the lashes are on. She used her hands to put her lashes on, but I can't do that. I have to use um, tweezers. Um, this actually looks really good. This liner looks sickening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I take this and I shake it up. Oh my gosh, she's using this thing called sure Shrek. It gets on the brush. And I dot, and I love this stuff because look, you dot it. This is gonna be the part that fucks me up. Pick it up, and then you just boom. And it's so easy. Oh no! And you just kind of put it down, leave some of them darker than the others. Sometimes I do my forehead so I can be like this. Oh, she being so extra. Boom, boom. Okay, so she's basically using this thing called Freck. So Freck actually reached out to me, like, I think last year, and they were like, can we send you this Freckle pen? And 
I've never ever used it because I'm just like, it looks like this and it's supposed to be a freckle pen and she did some darker than a not. So you put some on and use your finger to like do the imprint. I'm gonna fuck this up. Okay, so let's do it. So how do freckles even look? Okay, so that's what you kind of do. Placement, so you take your finger and then you kind of just press it in. Mm. Does it look like I've got like a disease though? She did a bit on her forehead as well. <laughs> I can't use these freckle pens. I don't know how people do it. Okay, so the freckles look somehow decent. Six chromes. This is just a loose eyeshadow and it looks like this, but then it goes on like this and it kind of it looks like a blue, but then also like a deep pink. Press that down. Oh my God. It's like a peacocky sort of moment. It's peacock, like very peacock. blue at certain angles and very pink at others. And then, boom. It's a little colorful moment. Okay, so she used a pigment. I don't have any loose pigments. So she used something pinky. So I'm gonna use this color from Natasha Denona um, Love Palette. And um, it's kind of like the same kind of thing, but hers looks a tiny bit darker. Yeah, I'll use this one. This one's perfect. I'm gonna use Passion, actually. This one is perfect. Um, I'm gonna use like a fluffy brush. And then she put some on her eye just to have like a colorful moment. Oh, that looks really nice. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks so cute. It actually looks really nice. I like the shade of that actually. Oh, I kind of like the way it's coming together. Like it looks cute-ish. So for a lip, I can do like an ombre. So I take this sort of deep mauve and then feather that out a little bit. And it should look like that. Like you're not really wearing anything. So then next, I'm doing my hair. Okay, so she's doing a lip first. She takes something quite mauve-y. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use Nard's Slow Ride. Or oh, should I use a Chanel? Oh, this is perfect. So she took something quite mauve-y. I'm gonna use a lipstick. So I'm gonna use this Chanel one, and it's called um, Chestnut. It's actually a really nice shade, but a bit too dark. Is that too much? It might, might be, but who cares? <laughs> For that, I know there's hella glue and it's everywhere. I'm gonna start to curl this right now. My hair is 40 inches right now. Jesus, strip her hair, strip her fish. Okay, so she's gonna do her hair. You guys know I had to pull through. Even though we can't get things delivered, I made sure to go on Amazon Prime and I found a wig. It's not the same wig as hers, but let me show you the damn wig. <laughs> I'm not sure, I've never put on a wig on by myself, so I'm guessing this is the front bit. Let's try and do this. Ooh, I look kind of sexy. Ooh, uh-oh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix up the wig. This is the best I could get the wig to look. What do you guys think? I feel like it's kind of covering the makeup though. Let me just try and put this bang. As you know, it, look, it looks pretty. I think I look really pretty. Like, you know, I'm giving you muscle gay mermaid realness. So what do you guys think of the makeup? Do you think it looks cute? Let me guys know what you thought in the comments below. Let me guys know if you want me to do more of these. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video guys and I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Bye.